Hi guys, this is Tim with Tim's Permaculture Homestead. This is uh, February 28th, last day of February. Monday, uh, it's probably about 10.30 in the morning. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't been too busy. I've, I've done a little bit. I need to come in here. I'm in the greenhouse, as you can see. And uh, I need to come in here and clean out the weeds. Well, the kale made it through the winter. Looks like some of the mustard greens are starting to leaf out again. Uh, it gets very cold at night. Uh, this is um, broccoli. I do believe it's broccoli. It's starting to look better. Got a lot of a lot of weeds in here. This is all weeds. Need to clear that out. Had a, an experiment where I where I put all these bottles and filled them up with water, hoping it would uh, retain heat during the day and disperse it at night. It didn't really work out too well. The bottles. A lot of them uh, broke, busted on me. Over here you can see more. <clears throat> okay. So I got all that mess to clean up. It was a failed experiment. Perhaps, and, and the, the you might you might think that the you know I had the lid, lids on tight. They were very loose. They were just barely on, so air could. Uh, escape but it didn't matter <clears throat> um, looks like the trees in here could uh, start to bloom within the next week or two this is this is a nectarine and this is a peach this is a uh, what kind of peach red haven peach right here and the water is not frozen. It uh, a couple times over the winter, it just barely skimmed with a little bit of ice. I planted a flat of uh, cabbage. I got some early, like Dutch cabbage and uh, cabbage. Mom, my mother wanted me to plant them for her because she loves to make kraut. And she said it takes a lot of cabbage to make to make kraut. So I got 24 uh, cabbages for her here, and some of this too. This is like uh, Napa uh, Chinese cabbage. The rest of this, different different kinds. And let's see what else. That's about it in here uh, I'm gonna try to sow some seed for leeks today I got a little setup in the house with a like a light and uh, when they come up then I'll bring them out here to the greenhouse I'll be taking these cabbages in at night uh, when I get home oh that's another thing a place I used to work uh, called me <laughs> I guess they're desperate need of people called me and asked me if I wanted to come back and work part-time for a while so you know I'm retired but I'm allowed to make so much extra money so I told them I'd come back for three or four four or five months depends on how it goes and so I worked all last week <clears throat> and it went okay you know I just work oh four or five hours a night uh, so that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. I still got time to do stuff out here. So, well, it's much colder outside of the greenhouse and the wind's blowing a little bit. But it's been wet. We've had a lot of rain. And uh, looks like over in the new food forest, the hazelnuts they want to bud really bad they're just for the last month it looks like the the, the it's going to start sprouting leaves but they've held off it's going to be warm this week uh, i think we may even have some days that'll get up in the 60s of course it's still getting cold at night so i'll bring it flat of cabbage in uh, every night when i get home from work 
and bring them out every day. So, got a lot to do here. I've been trimming trees, cutting trees down uh, over in this area over here. I've, I've trimmed a lot of trees, trying to clean that up some. I've got them old nasty uh, wild rose bushes I need to cut out, and I let them things go for years, so that's that's going to be a, a not a very pleasant job. But <clears throat> that's, uh, eh, I'll get to it. Anyway, I just want to make this quick quick update video. Uh, I've been following the news a lot about Ukraine. My heart, I'm just so sad for those, those people. Uh, no one should have to go through that. Uh, all because of uh, Mr. Putin, Mr. I'm gonna call him Mr. Adolf Putin. Uh, if anybody is a neo-Nazi, it's him, the way he's acting. So anyway, enough about politics. Uh, it's just a tragedy over there. I'm glad those people didn't give in to them. I'm glad they're fighting for their country. With that being said, uh, God bless everyone. Pray for Ukraine. Pray for us. And uh, I'll get off of here and uh, see you on the next one. God bless. Bye.